Sir, 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 sir. Please don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, okay? You it was sir, 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 I am warning you, sir. Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and yesterday a ton of stuff was released for Season 12, and today we're going to sift through it and find out what is actually coming, what is real, and we're also getting some footage today for the new control mode from the EA Content Creator Network, so we're going to cover that as well. We'll also give out 63 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe as usual, I can see subscribers, but now let's separate the fact from fiction. So the first major thing to go over, and most of you are aware of this, but the Bloodhound Prestige skin that we saw that has evolving different forms is confirmed to be the reward for completing the anniversary collection event, meaning it will cost $160 for a first person game skin. There will be three different forms for the skin and a unique finisher, and you will need to complete a certain amount of damage such as 30,000 and 100,000 to unlock all forms. You have an unlimited amount of time to complete this from the time you get the skin. Now it is called a mythic rarity skin and they are renaming the heirloom shop the mythic shop. So after the event, if you get shards in the future, you will be able to use them on this skin if you so desire. It's not going anywhere and will be available for purchase later on. Now there is a little bit of misinformation as the person who leaked this information did say that the tap strafing had been removed from Apex but they weren't sure because they aren't very good at it. I'm here to say right now that tap strafing is not being removed according to John Larson one of the senior developers who let us know that they are actually reworking it. So I imagine that the rework they are doing the leaker just didn't know how to make it work under the new settings that they have. However it does seem that it is confirmed that punch boosting is being removed from the game. This makes sense because they have banned it in ALGS tournaments, so therefore they have removed it from the base game as well. There's also been huge rumblings within the Apex community, especially big streamers, talking about how aim assist is looking to get nerfed. Now, we have gone over this before on this channel, but it is going down from 0.6 to 0.4 once again, according to John Larson as they were looking at it, and this makes sense because Steve Ferreira just let us know yesterday that the next-gen version is releasing very, very soon, which lines up with what iLoot said for either February 8th or February 18th, so expect the next-gen update to come out, and when that does, aim assist will get a nerf if you're playing in console in a PC lobby. If you're just in a console lobby, I think your aim assist will remain the same. Little side note, but the developers also let us know that the prowlers on Stormpoint are receiving a nerf. The way that they behave and attack players is going to be changed, so if that was something that really bothered you in Season 11, do expect some changes to make your game a little bit easier. The Battle Pass will give us a host of new things. We knew a lot of stuff, such as the Rebel Biker theme, which is now confirmed once again, and we will be getting that reactive Hemlock skin for level 100 and 110. Our legendaries will be for Loba and also Seer. They were in the thumbnail of this video, along with the reactive Hemlock skin. There is some gameplay that was leaked. However, it is heavily watermarked, but I will say that the creators program is having a live stream of the brand new control mode at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, about five hours after this video goes live. I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can go check out the live stream and see how the new control mode is going to play and have some of your favorite streamers to watch doing it. Let me know down below how you're feeling about season 12 and how they are planning on doing things. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.